नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम है दीपक सिंह आप देख रहे प्राइम इंडिया दोस्तों वृंदावन की कड़ी में आज हमारे साथ एक और विदेशी भक्त है जो कि अमेरिका से है और इनके बारे में हम इनसे ही जानेंगे राधे 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 व्हाट्स योर गुड नेम श्यामली श्यामली इट्स योर दीक्षा नेम और योर यू नेम That is my birth name because both of my parents are also Hare Krishnas so they gave me the name Shamali and when I got initiated my guru Kadambakana Swami he added Pranati because Shamali is a name for Krishna when Radharani was upset at him he wanted to get back on her good side so Krishna dressed up like the gopi Shamali and which country are you from I live in America but both parents are from Argentina how uh-huh. I was born in America we lived in uh Dallas Texas they had a really nice temple community so I was born in the temple community and surrounded by bhakti yoga my whole life and actually now I have a podcast with two other devotee friends of mine we talk about the Bhagavad Gita so every week we release uh episodes where we discuss the stories from the Bhagavad Gita and how to apply it into our real life so please tell me in very simple words What is the reason behind this energy? I want this energy. <laughs> Tell me the secret. No, I think it's all it's all Krishna consciousness. Honestly, if it without Krishna, I mean everything in this realm is temporary, you know, and it's so easy to become bottled da- bogged down by all of the issues and problems that Okay, so now tell me something about Krishna. That what is Krishna for you? Yes. Well, You know in the Bhagavad Gita it says Krishna is everybody's most dear friend. He doesn't discriminate between anything. He's everybody's dearest friend. So I like to think of that and think Krishna is literally right in my heart just waiting for me to turn towards him and when they say when you take one step towards Krishna he'll take 10 steps towards you. So he is just that that ultimate supreme being that i can always talk to even in the most spontaneous loving ways it's not just when i go to the temple and bow down there that it's not just in awe and reverence it's in a very deep personal intimate way with any moment any emotion happiness pain distress i'll just turn to him and talk to him krishna please help me and i'll tell him what's really in my heart because it, we're trying to develop the ultimate deepest loving relationship with him i like to think of it like in this realm whenever we develop relationships with anybody be it friendship romantic parents we have a deep personal intimate connection with them that's very unique to the world me and the other person create so i like to think that just like that i'm developing a very unique personal relationship with the ultimate source the ultimate love that i can possibly develop with the source of everything so why not invest my time into that so yeah according to you is there any replacement of krishna any what replacement replacement no no what replacement would there be where i like to th- supreme. supreme right i like to think we're like little passengers passing through this world in the blink of an eye we just life is so short and it flies by and we just come here to grow evolve and connect deeper to our source so with that in mind as the overarching umbrella of the point of life i like to think that every situation person anything we go through is ultimately to bring us closer to krishna so we have the choice to take it as a distraction or as an opportunity to come closer you know so no replacement and when did you come to the india I've come many times. I came the first time I was 2 years old with my family when I was very little. Um and then I came again when I was 9 years old. Then a long time passed and then finally I came again last year many times because my guru Kadambakanna Swami his health was deteriorating, you know. So I wanted to take in as much time as I could with him. So I came a month uh, in October to end of November, again in December and again now for a month. When did you took diksha? It was last year over the summer in Radadesh. There's a beautiful temple that looks like a castle in Germany. It was July 2nd and that's when it happened. Before taking diksha, what do you used to do? Um, well, I mean, you know, taking initiation was like a bigger commitment. So, I had been born in, within Krishna consciousness. So, you know, this concept of Krishna surrounded me my whole life. So, I always had a very maybe a spontaneous natural love and attraction towards him, but I feel being brought up in the movement initiation just took it to a next level it's almost like like you when you're about to start a race you know and they they sound the alarm and you just go it's something snaps and it takes it to a deeper level so maybe now i'm definitely more committed to chanting my 16 rounds and reading more so it just takes the commitment deeper so you can deepen your relationship ultimately with krishna do you chanting hari krishna yes Mama? of course can you so how do you do this within my bead bag i have my japa mala okay. i was actually right when you saw me i was tell me something about first tell me something about this mala 
Okay, well, there's 108 beads on this Japa Mala, and each bead represents one Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So it's Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And then we go to the next bead. So that we say 108 times. And how many rounds? Right, and when we go 108 times, saying one round. one round. And when you get initiated, you commit to doing 16 rounds. And that might sound like a lot because to do 16 rounds, each round takes seven minutes roughly. 16 rounds would be two hours of your day. So one might think, oh my gosh, how do I fit two hours of chanting in my day? But if you think about it, how many hours are in the day? 24 hours. If I'm going to dedicate two hours to my personal one-on-one -on -one time, my conversation with Krishna, that's not a lot of time. We spend and waste two hours watching movies on our phone. How much? It really starts making you conscious of what energy is going into what different facet of my day. That's what Krishna conscious. I'm trying to ultimately transform my consciousness to be aware of Krishna at all moments. Can you tell me something about your uh, past life, like your family background and life that you lived in your childhood? Yeah, well, it was very nice. I feel very grateful and lucky to my parents because Bhakti has always surrounded me. So as a little kid growing up, I lived in a devotee community and my mother, she was a Sankirtan devotee. So she always, um, she distributed books on Krishna consciousness. Actually, the year she was pregnant with me, she won the marathon. She was second in the world distributing uh, Krishna conscious books. So I always feel like my parents are my pillars where they're really able to guide me on this journey and anytime I have a question or feel lost I'm able to turn to them. I feel they were definitely my first gurus growing up, you know, and I had the association of many incredible devotees and spiritual masters. Um, Tamal Krishna Goswami, who was like Srila Prabhupada's right-hand man, he was my parents' spiritual master. So growing up, I was able to always seek shelter of him. I had a very, he taught me how to ride a bike as a little child. So I feel lucky that Krishna gave me the mercy to have such great personalities around me growing up. So I feel able to come closer to Krishna. So uh, my childhood, I just feel very lucky that I was graced with parents who are, you know, conscious of Krishna, amazing devotees, spiritual teachers that can help guide me along the path. Just try to fall deeper and deeper in love with Krishna. What was your dream? in childhood? My dream? Um, I had many different types of dreams, but I remember one dream relating it to a Krishna conscious dream. I, I was very, very little, about, I must have been five, seven, I don't know, five years old, and I remember being in the temple chanting, and I was convinced that if I chanted hard enough or sincere enough, I would open my eyes and look at the deities and they would be able to move. So I'd hardly get started and look, ah, not yet, and keep going, ah, not yet. So I would keep trying. It didn't happen at that point. I had, later on, I remember, I'm a teacher now, and I did my master's thesis analyzing spirituality within children. And the night before I started my thesis, I had a dream that the same deities that I used to chant as a little girl in front of, hoping they would smile at me, in my dream, they started smile at me, just like I wanted so many years ago. So, What was the topic of your thesis? My thesis was actually analyzing how children who have a spiritual foundation, how that helps them in life. So we analyze children who don't have a spiritual foundation, and of course doesn't mean they're not spiritual, just they haven't been exposed to spirituality, and compared that to children who do have a spiritual foundation. And how that helps them in three areas we analyzed, in personal growth, academic resilience, and mental health. And we discovered that children who have a spiritual foundation definitely excel in those three aspects of life much more than children who haven't been given that. So spirituality helps in so many aspects beyond what we can imagine. Do you know any bhajan of Sri Krishna? Any bhajan? I mean, the classic Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is the most beautiful. Or anything else? You know, I love the Nishringadev prayers because that's just the prayer for protection, you know, along your path. The one, Namaste Nada Shringaya Pralada Lada Dayane. And it continues. And I love that. It might not be a standard bhajan, but I love it because we're basically asking for protection from Lord Nishringadev in all aspects. May he protect us on our journey back home. Thank you so much. And your energy is super next level energy. Uh, it's it's all from Krishna. Any aspect, any aspect that we like in this material creation, we can think it's just a little glimmer, a little watered down taste of what Krishna has in all unlimited amounts. Thank you so much, Radhe Radhe.
हरे कृष्णा तो दोस्तों आपको इनकी पूरी जर्नी कैसी लगी और इनकी जो एनर्जी है उसके बारे में कमेंट में जरूर लिखिएगा 